Hi everyone, I'm Michael from Household Travel and welcome to the clubhouse at the Fontanelli Estate. So the clubhouse is a separate hotel to the Fontanelle Hotel and um, it's really a very discreet and intimate adults only hotel which has a refined and relaxed atmosphere. And as we had a tour of the hotel, you can see that it's very much classic Chianti living with the beautifully appointed public areas in the true Tuscan style. You can enjoy uh, outdoor swimming here in the pool. They have tennis courts. They even have a golf driving range with a putting green. And as you'll see in a moment, they have an exclusive spa. And then it was time to have a look at the bedrooms, of which there are only 15 in the hotel. There are four different room types and three different suites. The hotel this year in 2024 opens on the 18th of April, and then the rates start from £788 for a Romantica room, which is between 26 to 40 square metres. And then for the suites, you start at the Migliori suite, which is around about 1,930 euros per night, going up to the Bosco Bruno suite at around 2,200. The hotel stays open all the way through to the end of November. And as you can see with the rooms and bathrooms I'm showing, they're all beautifully appointed, all slightly different. Some of the top suites have balconies here, as you can see, overlooking the Tuscan landscape. And then at the beginning, you saw some introductory room types with um, entrance onto the gardens. And in terms of the location of the hotel, it's nine miles or 25 minutes just east of Siena. If you're flying in, it's 80 miles from Pisa, which is about a two hour drive. It's 43 miles from Florence, so that's around about an hour and 20 minutes by car. And then if you were to fly into Rome, it's 166 miles or two hours and 50 by car. And of course, at Household Travel, we'd be delighted to arrange all of your travel, flights, transfers, as well as booking the hotel and securing you some extra lovely little benefits. And some of the activities you can do while staying at the hotel include e-biking. The hotel will prepare a lovely picnic for you to eat in the grounds of the hotel. You could go on a Vespa tour. And of course, being in the heart of Chianti, there are loads of wine experiences, including at the estate itself, at the Valley Pitchula Cellar, or the hotel can arrange some private tastings at local iconic wineries. And there are plenty of other day tours to do. And then it was on to possibly the jewel in the crown at the clubhouse, which is their wellness sanctuary. And as they describe it, it's a peaceful haven to explore, discover, and regain one's inner strength. And as they describe it, it's all about retreat, restore, and inspire. And the sanctuary has a very much a human-centered approach to health, knowing that the true well-being comes from the balance in body. And then that evening, it was time to dine with the family at their restaurant Osteria Il Toscanico under Daniela Canella. And Chef Canella really does serve up some beautifully simple and elegant Tuscan dishes. There was the classic spaghetti al pomodoro. There was pasta with wild boar and lobster and a beautiful uh, cured meats and vegetable platter. And you can see here the attention to detail that goes into creating these beautiful yet elegant dishes. And of course, it was a real honor to see Chef Canella and his brigade cooking uh, some of the dishes. It's also worth noting that the clubhouse has a Michelin star restaurant, Il Visibilio, which is a collaboration between Chef Canella and the two Michelin star chef, Giuseppe Iwanotti, and it is a gastronomic journey, which is actually a blind tasting menu. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video has inspired you to come and stay at the clubhouse and enjoy Chef Canella's cuisine and the beautiful Tuscan countryside. And so there was just one thing left to say. Cheers. 
And I also wanted to thank Annalisa from the sales team for making this possible. Hope you liked the video. See you on your travel soon. And don't forget to get in touch.